In this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy tutorial of how to cut your hair at home. This haircut is going to be for a trim with some layers that adds some volume to the hair. And it's also going to include me trimming some of the pieces that frame my face. This is such a bouncy, voluminous hair look and it just made my hair look super healthy and saved me a lot of money from not going to a salon. This is the first time I have cut my hair at home and it was a major success so I will be continuing to do this to save money. All I did was neatly comb my hair up into a high ponytail that rests at the top of my head close to my hairline and then I'm just cutting straight across with some hair cutting type scissors. I'm then going to be cutting vertically as you can see. This is just going to be thinning out the ends of the hair just to make it a little bit less blunt and choppy and I was super happy with the length at this point. So the next step was just to re-comb out my hair and work on the pieces that trimmed my face. This process was a little bit more tricky than the general trim with the layers, but it wasn't too bad. As you can see, I already have some pieces that frame my face from prior haircuts, so I kind of just followed that pattern. I used a fine tooth comb to comb sections forward, and then I just trimmed with the scissors in a diagonal fashion, and I cut up and down just to create that wispiness and to blend the hair pieces so it's not such a choppy, blunt cut. I wanted to shorten my bangs a little bit and just cascade some of the length down to frame my face and you guys can just kind of see what I'm doing. I'm angling my fingers down in an almost vertical fashion and I'm just trimming off the length that I want. I was super happy with how this turned out. It turned out very voluminous, very bouncy, and it just kind of added an extra element to my hair to have these pieces cascading down in front of my face. So I did the same thing on the other side. I'm just combing out the pieces and just trimming them down. I will say that I trimmed my bangs a little bit too short, but after wearing my hair for a few days after this and having everything kind of blend in together, it really wasn't too noticeable and I was still really satisfied with the results. After all, it was a free haircut that I did at home. I didn't have to waste any time at the salon or paying any high prices. So this is how much hair I ended up cutting off and these are some of the final results. As you can see, my hair looks a lot healthier, it looks thick, bouncy, voluminous, and you can't even tell that I did this at home. I hope you guys enjoyed this at home haircut tutorial. I hope this helps you guys save money and time. This was super worth it to me and I'm going to continue to do this. I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you soon in the next video.